the objective of this video is to solve this set of linear uh, simultaneous equation graphically. So you got x plus y is equal to phi and x minus y is equal to negative 1. So writing this in the gradient intercept form where the gradient intercept form has this equation y is equal to mx plus c where m is your gradient where m is your gradient, which is rise over run, which is rise over run, and your c is your y-intercept, c is y-intercept, okay, so looking at this, I will want, I want to write this as y is equal to something x plus something, so if you make y the subject, so let me make change color. So y, if you make y the subject, is minus x plus phi. y is equal to minus x plus phi. So what I've done is I've taken x to this side. So plus x became minus x. So this minus 1 can be written as minus 1 over 1. Okay, now your gradient is, your gradient is minus 1 over 1 minus 1 over 1 because here yeah, this this is the same as if you say y is equal to minus x plus phi here you have this minus 1 sitting with x so let me show this on a calculator so if you go minus 1 divided by 1 gives you negative 1 so I want these two numbers to uh, go from one step to the other. So I'll explain that. So your y-intercept is your y-intercept is phi. So where did I get the phi from? So this is your y-intercept. So this is your y-intercept and this is your gradient. Okay. So how do you plot these points if you want to graph it? So your y-intercept is phi. So this is phi. This is your first point. And then you go down, one down, and one across. So how did I decide that? This minus 1, this is minus 1 over 1. Minus 1 means you're going one down. I'll draw this arrow. You're going one down and one across. Okay, this minus tells me you have to go one down, one across. So I went one down, one across. The next point is one down, one across. One down, one across. Keep on going. Okay, and then you can draw a straight line, and this is the straight line. Okay, so this this line is called uh, x plus y is equal to phi, x plus y is equal to phi, or you can also say this is y is equal to minus x plus phi. They both are the same. Okay, so let's look at the second equation. The second equation is y. Let me move this slightly. Let me move this to, yeah. So this is, let me use, so from this, you can say minus y is minus x minus x minus x minus 1. So the same thing, I move this plus x to this side. Now this has a minus, this has a minus, and this has a minus. So they all say, let's all become plus. So they all are happy, so y is equal to x plus 1. Okay, so here, your gradient is 1 over 1. Your gradient is 1 over 1. This is your gradient, and this is your y-intercept. So this is where you start your graph. So this is your first point. Always start at the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is 1. So this is 1 on the y-axis. And from this, you have to go one up, one across. You have to go one up, one across. So this is a common point. To go one up, one across. One up, one across. So you can also go, if you go one up, one across. If you want to go backwards, you have to go one down, one across to the left. Okay, so one down, one to the left. So all these points. So let me use a blue color. So this is the second line. Okay, so yeah, let me highlight this. 
So these are the points. Oops. So yeah, this is the common point for both the equations. So this is a solution, or this is how you solve the simultaneous equation graphically. So this point is two comma three. This common point is two comma three. Okay, now let me explain this graph in a different way. Okay. Now let me write the points here. So let us talk about the brown line. This point is 0, 0,5. This point is 1,4. This is 1,4. Let me take one point. This is 4,1. Can you see 4 plus 1 is what? 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. 0 plus 5 is 5. And what is this equation? This is x plus y is equal to 5. Okay, so here, if you add the coordinates, you get the equation. So your first value is your x coordinate, and the second value is your y coordinate. So this is x comma y. So your first number is your x coordinate, and second number is your y coordinate. So I want you to see a relation between numbers and equation. Can you see 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus 3 is 5. This point is... Of course, this point is 3, 2. Let us take one more point. This is 3, 2. 3 plus 2 is 5 and so on. Now, if you take these points, suppose let us take this point. What is this point? Let me use a different color. This point is 0, 1. This point is 1, 2. So what is the equation telling me? 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. This point, what is this point? This is 3 comma 4. This point is 3 comma 4. Can you see all these points on the line, if you take the x coordinate, if you take the y coordinate from the x coordinate, that is x minus y, you will get negative 1. So the solution, or you can say the solution of this simultaneous equation is you write this in braces three sorry two comma three now what does that mean the solution is two comma three that means this point satisfies both the equation okay so this is a common this satisfies both the equation or this is a common point for both the lines so if you do two plus three that does give you phi that's one equation which is x plus y is phi and if you take 2, take away 3, that gives you negative 1. So basically, this can be, this is basically asking the question, if you think in an algebraic way, you're thinking of two numbers, which adds to give you phi, and if you take away, you get negative 1. And the answer is 2, 3.